Hi guys, it's Rochelle and welcome back to another Logic Pro X tutorial. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add vocal effects to your vocals. I've shown you many tricks and hints and tips, should I say, in vocal recording, but this one's more focusing on the different sounds that Logic plugins can make to your vocals. So you'll notice that when you listen to dance tracks, that sometimes uh, the producers use a different type of uh, vocal effect on the vocals. So it could be like a megaphone or a dance uh, plugin. Um, there's different types of plugins. So I'm going to show you where you can find all the different types of plugins that Logic has available and how to apply them to the vocals. So this is a quick uh, track that I put together for the sake of this um, tutorial. Please don't um, <laughs> observe the vocals too much. I just woke up and quickly just recorded this for the sake of this for you guys. So let's just hear how it sounds so far. Yeah. Uh, come on. I can be your strength. I can be your mood. I can do many things you want me to do. I can see the light I put in you. I feel cause the night is young. I make my move. Cause I wanna be a lover all through the night. I wanna be a lover. I wanna be a lover, 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 lover. I wanna be a lover all through the night. As you heard the first vocal, the first verse, so let me just cycle that through by just dragging over that section there. And as you can hear, I'm going to just play the vocal solo so you can hear it. Yeah. Uh, come on. I can be your strength. I can be your mood. I can do many things you want me to do. So what we can do now is like look at some vocals effects that might suit this track. So what you need to do is open up the library by pressing Y on your keyboard if it is not already open. Highlight the track, the vocal track that you would like to apply an effect on. Then if you go to voice, which is on your left hand side here under drums and percussion, you will see a list of all different vocal sounds here. So for example, if you're doing a track where for example, I've got an interlude track where at the beginning I'm, I, it seems like I'm calling someone and then I'm talking to them. So then I would add a telephone effect vocal to that. So let me just add the telephone vocal just for the sake of showing you how that would sound. So all you do is select telephone vocal and then let's play the solo now. Uh, come on. I can be your strength. Can be your mood. So that's a telephone vocal. So obviously we wouldn't put that on this track because that wouldn't suit the type of track that it is. But that's how you apply telephone vocal plugin. So now let's look at some of the other sounds. I'm gonna again solo this section just so you I can give you a glimpse of all the different sounds that Logic has to offer. So this is how the bright vocal sounds. I can be your strength. I can be your mood. So you've got the classic vocal. I can be your strength. I can be your mood. Got compressed. I can be your strength. I can be your mood. So we've got dance, which you would think would probably work with this track because it's a dance track. I can be your strength. Let's hear how it sounds with music. I can be your mood. I can do many things you want me to do. I can see the light. So that, that actually was 
suit better with this track, but let's listen to some more examples. This is the edge vocal. That can be your strength. Listen to the fuzz vocal. I can be a strength. I can be a You kind of hear that in a lot of pop tracks sometimes, don't you? Like the Kesha tracks and things like that. Let's listen to the narration vocal. I can be your strength. I can be your mood. So that's basically, you know, storytelling type of uh, plugin you would want to use there. Now let's go on to the natural vocal. I can be your mood. I can do many things. So that's very natural, nothing exciting really. Just a clear kind of vocal. Let's listen to the slander vocal. I can do many things. You want me to do so that's slammed vocal telephone vocal I've played already tracking vocal let's listen to that I can do many things you want me to do so and this is a tree vocal I can do many things you want me to do so think of you know your vocals going through a tube and it's into tuned vocal I can do many things you want me to do. Listen to another part of it so we can get some different feels. This vintage vocal. I feel because the night is young. I made my move. Listen to warm vocal. I feel because the night is young. I made my move. So that's the warm vocal. And then you've got the experimental. So this is where it gets a bit like interesting, should I say, because it's got, it contains vocals that's really, really different to your vocals. So it will have a, basically have a strong effect on your vocals. So this is the interesting bit, experimental vocal. So let's listen to some of the sounds that Logic has here. I think there's a night as young. So you know when you hear those songs, it's got those deep tones here and there, delay vocal. That's that vocal there. And you've got helium. You've got megaphone, this is used a lot in dance tracks. So you got monster vocal. And then you got robot vocal. And remember, if you want to just apply some of these effects on only certain parts of your vocals, all you need to do, as I've shown you in my previous uh, tutorials, is just slice up the area using the marquee tool, drag them to a new track, and then apply the vocal plugin. So let's choose, in this instance, let's go back and choose dance vocal for this section here. Now I've got a little echo effect here. I put in you, in you, I feel cause the night is young. So there, you might want to do something different and say, actually, I'm not going to have a vocal effect. I want to actually, sorry, not have a delay. I want to actually put on a fuzzy or megaphone sort of uh, tone there. So let's just put, for the sake of just showing you for this tutorial, monster vocal and see how that sounds. I put in you. Yeah, so you see how that sounds there, weird. But let's just leave that just for example. And then let's go over to the hook here. And let's maybe keep the hook as it is here. you never all through the night. I want so that's already set to my usual uh, channel strip, which is the female ambient lead. Now, if you go into voice again, I've got another over section up here, which just repeats basically this section of the hook. I wanna be a lover, 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 lover. 
<laughs> but what we could do is just apply a different effect here, but keep the, the normal effect there. So when I say normal, I mean the clearer effect. So let's go back into voice and let's go into experimental and maybe put a megaphone vocal on that track there. So let's listen to how that will sound now. Just listen to a snippet of it, not the whole thing. Just give you an idea. I want to be a lover, 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 lover. So that's with those two. But if I just unsolo the hook, the main hook, and just play that over section, let's listen to it. Yeah, so now let's just listen to that whole section from, say, maybe there to here and just see how that sounds. Bring in the drums now. I wanna be a lover. So you get the gist of it. However, there's also some other extra vocals plugins that are hidden within the channel strip. So let's just close down the library for a second by pressing Y on the keyboard. Now, if I go to this main hook here, for example, and when you go into the channel strip section, which is here, if you click on uh, the channel strip setting that you set it as, just click on it and go down to legacy, you will see there's they've got logic, garage band, and jam pack one. These are all the extra um, vocal, so so different instruments and vocal uh, plugins that are also in logic. So if you go into logic here and go into voice. You'll see it's got choral effect, female voice, male voice, speech, warped. It's even got extra things like, uh, for example, female radio, gated voiceover, telephone voiceover again, a voiceover basic, wide voiceover, and then warped voices. It's got something called dirty female, phone filter, psychic choir, and warp. So let's just go up to hook over. Um, first of all, let's just keep the hook over as female vocal. We're gonna to go to the hook over one and let's select, go back into the channel strip um, and then go down to legacy, go into logic, go into voice, and then let's go into warped voices and look at dirty female. Let's have a listen to that. So listen up, let's see how that sounds. I wanna be a lover. So that's how it sounds with the hook underneath it, the main hook. Let's listen to it without the hook underneath it. I'm going to unsolo it as it goes into that bit. I want to be a lover, don't go down the fire. So you get the gist of what I mean there. So as I said, if you go back into the channel strip again and down to Leg Legacy, and then you can go into Garage Band, because as you know, Garage Band is uh, an Apple product that's also within um, most of uh, Apple's uh, devices. So if you go down to Vocals, you'll see that. Um, Garage Band have a list of different um, vocal plugins there as well. So you can use any of these vocal plugins. And as I said before, if you go into Jam Pack 1, um, I'm not sure if you've got Jam Pack 1, but it has uh, several different uh, vocal plugins here as well. So, so that's how you add vocal plugins to your vocals. So, so I would suggest that you play around with those. And remember, once you've actually selected a vocal plugin, you can still manipulate it so you don't have to just keep it as the way it is you could add other things like effects to it so let's just go into this bit here again and what i'm going to do is just solo this section here i want to be a lover, 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 lover. so we've added a vocal effect there as we know called the dirty female 
So what you could do is if you go into your channel strip, which is on the left here, you'll see what the Dirty Female plugin consists of, which is limiter, compressor, channel EQ, and other things. But if you go down and add and want to add maybe an echo effect to it, you can click underneath where it says limiter, go to delay and go to echo and press stereo. Now what you've done effectively is added an echo effect on top on top of that dirty female plugin. So let's listen to how it is now. <laughs> which is obviously overboard, but then you can, as I said, just adjust it to what you like. So you might like it at that. So then what we do, you can just leave it as that. And just to um, make it easier, you can take out this section here. I'll just use the marquee tool and press and delete and leave it as it is there. And let's just play that section so we can hear out the sounds. So just cycle this bit here. And I'm going to play So basically, that is exactly how you can add vocal effects to your vocals, manipulate the plug-in effects by adding echo effects, adding so much different sound effects. I'm just touching the mere surface of what Logic has to offer. Please go to my website. I have a Logic Pro X quiz there that will be based around this latest video. So be sure to play the quiz to enhance your knowledge. Also, please join my mailing list at www.michellearthers.com. If you have not already done so, subscribe to my uh, YouTube channel. And if you have any questions, by all means, you can email me via my website or just leave a comment. And as you can see, I generally answer people's queries quite quickly. And these tutorials are aimed at beginners to make them be great producers. Until next time, I hope you find this tutorial helpful. Have a good day, guys.